Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, I'd like us to start this evening by praying in 2 Kings chapter 7, verses 1 to 2. The Bible says the prophet comes to the king and says God is about to do a new thing. It says tomorrow about this time the seer of flour shall be sold for one shekel. And there's a gentleman who is, the Bible calls him the officer upon whose arm the king leans. And the man says even if God will open the windows of heaven, how can this be? And the prophet says, well, for this to happen you won't see it. And I want us to pray tonight. I believe that God has brought us into his presence tonight on purpose. There are certain things, thoughts, those were the things in my mind, thoughts that might be in our hearts that stand at the gate and want to prevent the fulfillment of what God wants to say concerning you. And I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. You might be online, wherever you are. Why don't you just start praying in the Holy Ghost in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ? Praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. If you cannot yet pray in the Holy Ghost, it's a wonderful time for you to just lift your hand and say, Father, I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But as we pray in the Holy Ghost, guys, it is a symbol. There's a prayer welling up on my inside because this Bible says there is an official that said this thing is not possible. And so as we pray in the Holy Ghost, we are receiving an anointing that breaks strongholds in our minds in the name of the Lord Jesus. For someone, you have been to this type of meeting so many times that you have just come as normal, come as usual. You've been to this type of meeting. You've been to convention. You've been to a, a camp meeting. But this night in the presence of God is different. So maybe that is one stronghold that we need to deal with. But every stronghold, everything that is in my heart, everything that is in my heart, it might be a stronghold of familiarity. You might be seven tonight. And so there is that stronghold that says, I'm just here to play the keyboard. I'm just here to usher. But this is the presence of God. Come on, church. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Manta le pragadosh. Lebo ghost. Nema sante li brogodosh. He says, I'm just here to lead worship. He says, my mind cannot comprehend it. Hey, lebo kom da makata. So we are declaring in the name of the Lord Jesus that whatever stands in the way of the reception of prophecy, whatever stands in the way of the reception of the next level, whatever stands in the way of acceleration, whatever stands in the way of a divine encounter, Father, we come against it in the name of the Lord Jesus. What does Jesus say? He says, you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Someone should be praying, Lord, flood my heart with truth. Lord, flood my heart with light in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Someone, you are still on a 1,000 level. God has been trying to move you to a 1 million level. But there is an official upon whose shoulder the king leans. Who has been declaring things to you. The Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation. For those who are in Christ Jesus. For someone, maybe it's the stronghold of condemnation. i like us to pray. i like us to pray. i like us to pray. No boundaries. Nothing holding us back. From coming into the fulfillment of that which God has declared concerning us. Nothing stops us. Nothing stops us. Someone else is pleading the blood of Jesus. Why? The Bible says the blood of Jesus speaks better things than any other voice that seeks condemnation. So we are declaring that tonight's meeting is under the confession of the blood of Jesus. That blood that was shed upon the mercy seat, it declares that I can have an encounter with God. No holds bad in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hey, we are declaring that this is a meeting like no other. I do not know about you. I know you come from many nights of increase. But this one is special. This one is special. Can someone begin to speak prophetically about tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus? Someone is speaking prophetically about tonight. 
In that scripture I mentioned earlier, the Bible says when the supernatural happened, that that official is at the gate. And the Bible says he's trampled. He's trampled. And God does what he wants to do. Hey, there's some things that need to be trampled tonight. There are some things that need to be trampled tonight. Hey, man, the lipo ghost. What stands in the way of your worship? What stands in the way of your worship? What stands in the way of your worship? It needs to be trampled tonight. Let man Someone needs to pray for new mindsets. Jesus says, you do not take new wine and put it into old wine skin. And so in the place of prayer tonight, will you say, Lord, where I am carrying old wine skin? Someone, you're still carrying wine skin from 1986. Someone, you're still carrying wine skin from year 2000. Someone is still carrying the wine skins from last week. Available. There are new wine skins available. Someone is praying for the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why don't you take a minute and pray for the person on your left? Pray for the person on your right. Pray for the person before you, the person behind you. Pray for everyone who is online tonight. It doesn't matter what country they are. We are declaring that this is the house of God. This is the presence of God. That they have a divine encounter in the name of the Lord Jesus. Why don't you take a minute and pray in the Holy Ghost concerning them and declare that that thing that is in their heart that is stopping the performance of what God wants to do. It is silenced. It is trampled. It is demolished in the name of the Lord Jesus. That mindset, that way of thinking, he's saying to Peter, Peter, rise, kill, eat. Peter says, no. He says, rise, kill, eat. So why don't you pray for them that today they have an encounter with the truth. They have an encounter with the truth. You can pray 30 more seconds for them. It says the word that God speaks. It says they do not return unto him void. It says, but yet they were a people. It says the word spoken to them could not profit them. Not been mixed with faith. My God, we declare a release of faith in this house tonight. A release of faith in this house tonight. A release of unusual faith in this house tonight. Father, we thank you. Our Father, we thank you. If I have believing people in the house, could we put our hands together and celebrate God? I said believing people. Could you add a shout of it wherever you are? Could you add a shout of it wherever you are? Amen. You're welcome to Accelerate Conference. Please stay standing because tonight's experience, I don't think there will be enough time to sit down. Help me smile at your neighbor and tell them I hope you are here. I hope you are really, really, really here. We welcome everyone who is worshiping online, on Twitter, Instagram, (laughs) Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are. Uh, We believe that God's presence will meet you wherever you are. If you're on social media, there's a hashtag Accelerate 2021 or hashtag Waymaker. Our conveniences at the back, food courts are located around and our officials are available to direct you um, as you need assistance. Um, Let's get into it. Anybody ready to worship God tonight? Uh, Church, I said anybody ready to worship Jehovah tonight? Anybody ready to worship Jesus tonight? Would you join me and receive a very wonderful minister, someone who's very dear to our hearts, uh, a top worship minister in this country and beyond, Minister Olumide Eyu, as he leads us in worship tonight. Come on, church, let's welcome him. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus. What a wonderful God we serve. He is great and greatly to be praised. He's amazing. He's indescribable. He's full of love and kindness. He's everything that we need and more. He's beyond compare. He's the beginning. He is the end. He was before the beginning. He will be after the end. Always good. 
always kind, always loving. Somebody shout, somebody celebrate your Savior. Woo! <laughs> hey! So this song says a million tongues are not enough to tell the love of God for us. And he has a house of portion that says, Ah, hey, Godia Nabaka, which simply means I give my thanks to you. Hey, play, come on. Yeah, come on. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. A million tongues won't be enough to tell your love towards us. Ah, hey, go dia na baka. A million songs won't be enough to tell how much you love us. Ah, hey, go dia na baka. So this is the chorus. Your love is higher than my hands can reach. Yeah. And your love is farther than my eyes can see. Yes. And your love is greater than my mind can understand. Ah, hey, go dia na baka. Here we go. A million tongues. A million tongues won't be enough to tell how love to A million songs, a million songs won't be enough to tell how much you love us. Your love is greater, your love is greater than my mind can understand. Hey, your love, hey, your love is higher than my hands can reach.
For this meeting, he said tonight will be a, a night of hallelujahs, a night of rejoicing. You know that singer that said, My hallelujah belongs to you. <laughs> so tonight is hallelujah night, the night of increase. Let the people praise him, let all the people praise him. Then the earth shall bring forth his increase, and our God, even our God, shall bless us. Say hallelujah, say hallelujah, yes, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah, hey, we say hallelujah. to die you are the most high God oh, King on high you are the most high yeah. Woo. we say
God is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted high. In this place, Jesus is lifted high. The Son of God yeah. is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted high. Whoa.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aren't you grateful today to have the privilege and the opportunity to come on your own and by yourself to give your thanks, to give your gratitude, to give your worship, to give your praise, to give your thanks to the maker of the universe. Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight is indeed a night of increase. And I know that someone here in this room today will not go home without your portion. Someone say my portion. My portion. You will not go home without your portion. So come on, for the next minute, I just want you to go ahead and just lift up a voice of thanksgiving. You know, it's awesome to sing with the singers, but there is a worship that is inside your own spirit. And you need to unlock it tonight and release it to the God of the universe. When that woman came to Jesus with an alabaster box, she broke it herself and she, and she anointed him. The fragrance of the perfume filled all the room where she was. Can the fragrance of your worship just ascend tonight? Say, God, I've brought you my own worship. This is my own. This is, this is from Bola's heart. This is coming from my heart. From, my, from, from the depth of my being, I lift it up to you tonight. Because I know that you deserve it. No one else will receive the thanksgiving, the praise, the worship that is due you. I bring you my worship tonight. I bring you my worship tonight. I bring you my worship tonight. Oh Lord, I bring it to you. I pour it out before you as the evening sacrifice. Oh, let the fragrance ascend to you tonight. Oh, let it register that I have come here with my thanks. I have come here, Lord, to say you are worthy. You are worthy. You are holy. You are worthy. You are mighty. No one else like you. Nobody else like you. You are God all by yourself. You are God through and through. <laughs> From beginning to the end, nobody else can compare to the majesty, to the glory, to the goodness of our God. Come on, you have worship inside of you, inside of you, inside of you. Release it to him tonight. You have it. It's right there. It's on the inside. I know you may have been through some kind of half year. Maybe there were voices telling you that you know what? Maybe you should skip 2021. Maybe it will start counting. Maybe the grace will start counting in 2022. Tonight you've come to prove that the devil is a liar because the hand of God is upon you. And as you worship and as you lift him up tonight, as you worship and as you lift him up tonight, you will see the way maker revealed in your circumstance revealed in the middle of you are standing in front of does it look like a red sea situation oh awesome we have a god who has capacity for red sea situations he knows what to do can you say that tonight god i know that you know what to do it's not my matter that will defy the power of God. It's not my challenge that will stand and refuse to bow down. Ah, in the face of your power, in the face of your glory, in the face of your might. Oh, tonight, God, we brought you our worship. We account you faithful. We account you faithful. We magnify you in this place above every circumstance above every issue above every matter we magnify you lord we magnify you lord we magnify you lord we declare tonight that blessings honor glory and power be unto you be unto you you are the one you who was who is and who is to come there is nothing that has confronted us that you don't already have an answer to. So tonight we're just going to leave it all at the foot of the cross. We're just going to worship you. We're just going to worship you. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Say 
in Jesus name now I heard in my heart that someone came in here tonight saying God I want to run faster in the second half of the year but it seems like I'm not seeing clearly how many of us know that if you want to gain speed you need to be able to see hallelujah isn't that right you need to be able to see and someone is saying here tonight that that there is just a lens something that is that is in the way of what I'm supposed to be seeing and then I read in Mark 8 and verse 22 I'm gonna read it from the Amplified translation the Amplified translation from verse 22 of Mark 8 says then they came to Bethsaida and they brought a blind man to Jesus and begged Jesus to touch him so Jesus took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town and when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands on him he asked him if he saw anything and he looked up someone say he looked up and said I see men like trees walking You've seen something in a measure so far this year, but you know that there is a fullness, that the picture still needs to get clearer, that there is yet an experience for you in God, and you, you desire to step into it, just like Elisha desired to step into a second, a, a double portion of, 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 of Elijah's anointing. Tonight I want you to lift up your voice and say, God, that I might see, God, that I might see you, that I might see you clearly that I might see what you're doing that I might see what you want to do with my life Lord in every place where the vision is not clear in every place where the picture is like men like trees men should look like men men should not look like trees God in every place where there is a distorted picture of what you're, you're, you're gonna be doing in my life Lord help me to see help me to see Lord help me to see give me clarity in this second half of the year I will not run like someone that beats the air give me precision help me to see what you are saying in the name of Jesus can you lift up your voice and say God that I might see Lord that I might see the one who gives sight to the blind eyes is here tonight the way maker will make the way clear before you can you lift up your cry tonight say God that I might see that I might see clearly in every place where the picture has been has been contorted and twisted and it's showing something that you have not said tonight oh God that I might see Lord that I might see give me seeing eyes give me hearing ears in the name of Jesus oh I will not hear a miss I will not see a miss and when I have received your word tonight I will rejoice over it it will put down roots on my inside and it will bring forth a harvest in my life oh no more here today gone tomorrow oh Lord that I might see that I might see make the picture clear oh show me oh God show me oh God you said you would give the Holy Spirit to them that ask you tonight oh God give me the Holy Spirit the spirit of discernment I want to discern your will I want to understand what the Spirit is saying the Bible says let him who has an ear let him hear what the Spirit is saying so the Spirit is saying can you declare tonight I hear what the Spirit is saying I hear what the Spirit is saying I hear what the Spirit is saying oh I'm not dull in my understanding I hear what the Spirit is saying in the name of Jesus all over this room tonight all over this room tonight Lord we declare that as we draw near to you in worship we will see you Lord the glory of your presence will fill this place for everyone who is in this auditorium in person and for everyone who is joining us from every location around the world we declare that the fullness of your presence will be in this place touch every heart touch every life cause someone to see clearly 
to hear Lord the deep recesses of what the spirit is saying in Jesus much less name we pray come on someone in Jesus much less name we pray someone who knows that they're going home with a double portion tonight lift your hands and magnify the Lord Hallelujah. go ahead and have your seat for a moment say with me for a moment for a moment we've come here tonight for a night of worship isn't it so just have your seat for a moment we're just going to take some testimonies pastor Kola is going to come up here and lead us in a time of sharing taking testimonies and just celebrating what God has done aren't you grateful that we have a God that we can celebrate in the company of the righteous come on put your hands together and celebrate If you're giving it up to Jesus, you can do it better than that. Come on, go ahead tonight. Uh, Elevation Church, uh, would you praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Mark 7 verse 37. After Jesus had done some awesome testimony, um, um, miracles, you know, the Bible records that uh, he has done all things well. We recognize that our God has done all things well. And we have some people who have returned tonight, you know, to give him praise, to give him um, uh, uh, thanksgiving for all that he has done. Um, we would take a video testimony, uh, but while um, we are doing that, let me just call um, these awesome people. Um, Sister Eunice, can you please come? Sister Eunice, please come. Um, Pastor David, please come. Please celebrate them as they come, please. <laughs> celebrate them, celebrate them, celebrate them. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's take the video testimony now. I was single for way longer than I wanted. My younger siblings were getting married and this made it even tougher for me and I became bitter for a while. I eventually surrendered all to God and kept on declaring that I was happily married and I had a beautiful home. I joined the Elevation Church in that period and I attended the Night of Increase. I told God that I wanted double for my troubles and that no good thing will it withhold from me. Miraculously, this man called me up in spite of the fact that he got my number from a friend who had told him about me over five years ago, but he never reached out. We clicked, got quality advice from the counseling team at the Elevation Church, and we are now married to the glory of God. Go ahead and give us give it up to Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So many testimonies. So many testimonies. Um, I'll just take this one and then we will take um, some of the life tes- testimonies here tonight. Um, this is just before Accelerate 2020. I started making plans for my wedding. All of these were tentative because of the COVID restrictions around the world. At the conference, I held on to these words from Pastor Wale Akinshiku, where he said, my hands are not empty. I don't know if you remember that um, prophecy. Yeah, My hands are not empty, and the decision has been made in my favor. Not only did the wedding happen gloriously on the originally planned date, but I was also able to travel down to Nigeria and back to my base without incurring any extra cost as the decision was truly made in my favor and the airspace opened the day i planned to travel my covid tests were valid even when the regulations changed because god let me to take the test within the changed timeline i got enough time from work god granted me favor resources were miraculously provided and gifts that i had wishfully put up on my list were given to me even when the devil struck my mother-in-law died three weeks to the wedding God sent us help. He comforted us from all quarters and the wedding was successful. <laughs> Hallelujah. She also said that my health has been way better since the conference. I prayed for career advancement and I got a job offer this June that will advance my career in this land. She said my work with God has grown despite all the challenges that have come my way. God sent me help in human form. He provided financial resources. He kept me safe in all my journeys. I return all praise to him. We do celebrate Jesus. 
would you celebrate Jesus the way you make her? Would you celebrate Jesus? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Tenny is saying that last year's um, at the Accelerate Conference, I asked God for a home within the highbrow area of Lagos. I put in my Accelerate seed and started looking out for my desired home. I blessed God for providing the means, giving us favor with the seller and making the old deal smooth within three months. Someone needs to key into this testimony this year, this year, in this second half. God is giving you your own home in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Pastor David, please come. Short and sharp, so I'm going to hold. All right. Praise God. My name is Pastor David. I've come to return all the glory to the God of Elevation Church. Divinely, I met my mentor, God's servant, Pastor PG, in one of the meetings he came to do in Port Harcourt. It was actually a minister's conference. And in that meeting, the Holy Spirit prompted my heart to drop all the financial seed in my hand to him. And when I sowed that seed, in less than 10 days, I've received over 2 million naira. I have come to give glory to the God of this commission, to the God of my father and mentor, Pastor PG. I celebrate grace. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sir Eunice, please come. Sister Ifeolua, would you please um, um, make your way to the stage? Please come. Good evening, church. I just want to thank God for one decision I took in 2019, December. I resigned from my 9 to 5, and I started a business in January 2020. One decision, I got married. I had my wedding. I took in, and then the business came. I was scared of entrepreneurship, but I heard God tell me resign and start the business. COVID struck, everything happened. Last year, Celebrate Conference, Bishop Wally was making prophecies. Honestly, I didn't hear anything because the internet was really bad. I went into the office kitchen and I was carrying the laptop just to hear what he was saying, but I couldn't hear. So we had a deal that ran into eight figures. That was the biggest. And we placed the order. Down the line, the customer said, I'm no longer interested because um, we, you can't meet up with the deadline. And I just kept on saying, we're unstoppable. We're unstoppable. I kept on connecting to that prophecy and so many. And before you knew it, I had connection with the final decision maker. And he said, you know what? We'll give you first right of refusal. We we'll throw the bid open again. We we'll allow people to come and bid. If you have it locally, we we'll give you the PO. We want the PO, and we want additional money from the customer in eight figures again. Meaning, whenever I want to buy extra goods, keep the money. You, we will buy it from there. So we want the PO, and we had additional funding from the customer. Praise God! Hallelujah! Come on, would you celebrate Jesus, the unstoppable God? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to read this um, while I take um, the next life testimony. Amen. Amen. Right. So this says, during the night of increase in October 2020, I shared a testimony of how after relocation, God blessed me with a job during the pandemic, even though I had faced so many rejections just before I started my job, I panicked about the renewal of my work permit because of the long processing times caused by the pandemic. But the Holy Spirit told me not to worry. So I went ahead in full faith, banking on God's word. Five months into the job, I had to stop working because the work permit renewal wasn't issued before the current one expired. Then I saw firsthand what it means to be led by God and favored by him. A few weeks before my work permit expired, the director of my division went to the president of the company and asked for an intervention. The president called the company lawyers and said they should do everything to see I don't have to stop working. This in itself is a testimony. Who am I and what is 
my father's house, that kings will rise on my behalf. It is the favor of God. They tried their best, but I still had, but I still had to stop work. They promised to wait a few weeks be before putting my job back on the market. Now to the orchestration of the Waymaker and the Masterminder. Back in August 2018, a friend had asked if my husband and I were going to consider an adjustment of status. We declined and told him we didn't feel God's leading in that way. Second quarter of 2019, after a church service, we received a release to apply for an adjustment of status. We were a bit worried. On Wednesday of that same week, one of our pastors from Nigeria called and randomly asked if we were considering an adjustment of status. Then the next day, the next day, Thursday, our connect group leader here at the Elevation Church called and asked randomly, and she said it impressed on her heart that we should consider an adjustment of status. One he spoke, once he spoke and twice we heard. We went ahead and put in our application. Exactly one month after I had stopped working, a new work permit generated based on the adjustment of status was issued, and that's how I got my job back. Till today, my original work permit is still pending, but simple obedience to an instruction in 2019 by the God who sees the pers who, who sees the who sees the hand from the beginning brought this testimony. I heard my sup my supervisor was dancing like a crazy person in the office when I called to share the good news. He made a way for me before I knew it, before I knew it that I needed a way. All glory to the way maker and to the miracle worker. Someone is here tonight. Uh, God is making a way for you. The way maker is showing up on your behalf uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, if you are that person, uh, would you put a shout on it? Come on, put a shout on it uh, and give God praise uh, because he is showing up on your behalf uh, in the name of Jesus. Good evening, church. My name is Ifeo Lua and my first testimony is my name. It means the love of God. And <sighs> growing up, I always looked for love everywhere till I read a book, and the book was talking about heaven and hell. But the only verse in that book that struck with me was Jeremiah 31, verse 3, that says that, For I have loved you with an everlasting love, and with that I will draw it to myself. So I, I was like, so somebody can love my mess. Somebody can love me that nobody even wants around. And that just made me give my life to God. That, okay, you say you love me, whichever way I am. Thank you for loving me. And I say my journey. Then fast forward to, I'm very smart. I did very well in school. So maybe I was a bit proud that any job I want, I can get it anytime. Right from uni, I got my first job without having to stress. And I was like, is this the same Nigeria that people are complaining about? I didn't know that there was going to be a lot ahead. So in March 2020, it, laid, it was laid on my spirit to fast, and I didn't have any prayer points. But I was like, I've never done three days dry fast. Let me do it this time around. So I did three days, and I was like, okay, what do people pray for? They pray for job, they pray for marriage, and they pray for maybe family and then the church of God. So I took those three days, and I prayed. Immediately after my three days fasting and prayer, I felt I deserved a reward from God. But instead, that was the beginning of calamity, stress. I got to a place in August. I was very depressed. I was suicidal. I went to the kitchen countless times. But every time I get there, it just occurred to me that, is this how you want to pay me back for the gifts of love that I've given to you? So it makes me not to do it. But I was completely withdrawn from everybody. But I had a doctor friend that called me. I was like, Ife, what is the problem? I was like, I don't have any problem. She's like, no. You are depressed and you need to go for counseling or the rest. Fast forward to December. I felt like I'd cried all year long. God, you know I'm your cry baby, but I don't want to cry anymore. So I told myself that in January, I'm not going to cry. First week of January, sad news started coming again. And I was like, God, am I going to cry all through this year? I came for Accelerate in March. I sat down here. Accelerate was like, no, not Accelerate. One night of increase. Yeah. And I was like, if it's 6 o'clock, I will come early so that God can take my least aspirity. 
And I wrote three things on my list, and I told God that, God, before June 2021, I want you for my shame, for everywhere that I've seen shame, give me double favor, double, take away my reproach. As God, we have it, me, that I lost confidence. I, I could not even stand among my people. I am a talkative. I couldn't talk anymore because I was like, who are you? But I thank God that God gave me everything I wanted on a platter of gold. And this is June. God did everything between March and June. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to take this last um, written testimony. Amen. This family, um, they have returned to give God praise. And they are saying that during the 2019 Accelerate Conference... My husband and I attended the Friday vigil, each having asked God to send us a word specific to our situation to encourage us in our waiting. The word of God came by his prophet, Bishop Francis Waleoke, when he said there was a young woman who had, who had two miscarriages in the first half of 2019 and that the Lord will give double for our trouble. Um, I would just love to, um, yes, okay, so that's it. Multimedia, can we just um, give that volume? Two times you miscarried. Hear the word of the Lord. For your pain, I give double. According to the word of the Lord, who confirmed the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messenger, this time next year, you will dedicate a set of twins before this altar. Before this altar. We were so excited that God sent specific word concerning our situation. And we went home overjoyed for what God will do. We have come today just as God spoke through his prophet with our bundles of joy. Put a shout on you, put a shout on you, put a shout on you. Come on. We do celebrate the way maker, the one who alone does great things. Hallelujah. He says what he means. He means what he says. That is the God that we serve. Hallelujah. Double for our trouble as he has promised. God has blessed us with twin boys by natural conception. God did it all and he alone is taking all the glory. God has turned around our pain and our confusion all through the waiting period and the losses that followed the negative report from doctors and he has restored, he's kept and he's covered us. We share this testimony to God's glory and to encourage anyone waiting to see God's word established in their lives, they have asked me to encourage you on their behalf to say to you that please hold on to God no matter how long because he is an out performer. We do celebrate Jesus tonight. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Amen. Join me as we, we welcome Pastor Tunji in your lab. But that will be after we play um, a video. Praise the Lord. I think about this sometimes. Egusi, vegetable, palm oil, and a careless sprinkle of anopo are individually unique. But when you put them together, they become a very tasty pot of egusi soup. He even roasted commas shoes to cooperate with pia or coconuts to mix hands. If there were no tire companies, or steel for wheels. Even the finest cars, with all the beauty and glamour, will not move. In spite of our personal perceptions, backgrounds, heritage, ethnicity, and religion, we have the potential to be a unique, strong family. Yes, we disagree now and then, but this shouldn't mean that we become enemies. I can't even remember when honey was ever made with one bee in a hive. Indeed, no one can whistle a symphony. It takes a whole orchestra to play it. We must always remember that. Our uniqueness 
and diversity is what makes us special. We are among the smartest and most hardworking of the people of the earth. And our resilience in the face of obvious odds is incomparable. We can and must be the fulfillment of each other's promises. Our hope after all is in each other. A single thread of hope is a powerful thing. And we have threads of hope everywhere we look. In our music, movies and entertainment. In our fashion and in the scholarly excellence we consistently showcase in the most prestigious academic institutions. In the political acumen we demonstrate in our political systems across the world. In the sporting fates of our men and women across international arenas. In our ability to soften the harsh realities we face with good humor. And in our faith in the almighty God. Let's reawaken this sleeping, somewhat distracted giant of Africa and take our place as leaders and champions wherever we are found. Standing side by side, winning. The division of tribe, tongue and faith must become the very basis of our collective strength. United we stand. We, we are stronger together. together. All right, can I ask that you rise on your feet this evening? Hallelujah. All right, so if you truly believe that that Nigeria is possible, if you truly believe that that Nigeria is, is, a, is going to be a reality in your lifetime and in my lifetime, I'm going to spend some time praying this evening for Nigeria. And I know that there are people who are joining us online who are not Nigerians, who are residents in other countries of the world, all right? Um, this is what I want you to do, guys. Um, I know that where you are, you know, things may not be like it is in Nigeria, but I want you to join us this evening as we intercede for Nigeria, right? And we're not doing this accidentally, we're doing it intentionally, all right? So I want you to just go ahead and pray tonight as I read from the book of Isaiah chapter 33, verse 22. The Bible says, for the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king and he will save us. I want you to open your mouth tonight and go ahead and begin to commit Nigeria into the hands of God. I want us to pray that God will save us from our current predicaments in the name of Jesus. We have security issues. We have economic issues. We have all kinds of issues plaguing our land. We have issues around leadership. We have political issues. We have geographical issues. I want you to open your mouth tonight in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king and he will save us. I want you to declare tonight in the name of Jesus that God arises over Nigeria and he brings salvation in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight that God arises over our nation and he brings salvation in the name of Jesus. He brings economic salvation. He brings leadership. He brings salvation in the sphere of choice of leadership. He brings salvation in, in all kinds of areas. He brings salvation to our health sector. It brings salvation to our educational sector. Can you open your mouth tonight and just pray in the name of Jesus? I want you to pray tonight. I want you to pray tonight. I want you to let your faith arise. The God is able to turn things around in this nation. I want you to let your faith arise. The God is able to turn things around in this nation. You may be frustrated with Nigeria. You may, be, you may feel, feel, feel upset with Nigeria. You might even have lost interest in praying for Nigeria. I want you to give it one more shot tonight because God says we should pray for our Jerusalem. He says that it is in the peace of the place where we live that we shall find peace. And I want you to open your mind and pray tonight and ask in the name of Jesus that the God of heaven and the earth is delivering this nation from the old and the shackles of retrogression of economic challenges in the name of Jesus. I want you to speak progress. I want you to speak progress in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 30, the Bible says, So Jehoshaphat's kingdom, I'm reading from the New Living Translation, it says, So Jehoshaphat's kingdom was at peace, for his God had given him rest on every side. You know, there are many issues facing us in Nigeria, and security is one of them. And I want you to open your mouth tonight and begin to speak peace over this nation in the name of Jesus. That everything that is causing insecurity, all kinds of oppression all around us is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. I want you to declare that kidnapping is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. I want you to declare that the hold of Boko Haram is broken in the name of Jesus. I want you to declare that all kinds of insurrection 
division that they are broken in the name of Jesus all kinds of factions that are arising and fermenting trouble and causing insecurity whatever name they may be known as I wanted to declare in the name of Jesus the earth men that go about killing people I wanted to declare that it comes to an end in the name of Jesus I wanted to speak the peace of the Lord I wanted to speak the peace of the Lord over this nation from every nook and cranny of this nation across all 36 states and the further capital territory I wanted to declare that there is the peace of the Lord that there is the peace of the Lord in the name of Jesus that there is no more wars the Bible says that God breaks as he breaks in pieces weapons of warfare I wanted to declare tonight in the name of Jesus that insecurity comes to an end over this nation in the name of Jesus insecurity comes to an end in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we have prayed the Bible says in Joel chapter 2 from verse 25 it says so I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten the crawling locust the consuming locust and the chewing locust my great army which I sent among you it God then says you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Nigeria. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. I want us to go ahead and declare this over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. I want you to declare that God is bringing us to a season of restoration in the name of Jesus. Our currency is losing value. But I wanted to pray tonight that God is bringing us to a season of restoration in the name of Jesus. Everything that is causing destruction, everything that is causing economic value to be destroyed, everything that is causing our, 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 our nation to go down from a health sector point of view, from an educational point of view, from defense, I wanted to declare that it is that there is restoration restoration in the name of Jesus I wanted to declare there is innovation in our land I wanted to declare that there is technological advancement there is technological advancement there is innovation that in our educational sector there is revival in the name of Jesus in the health sector there is revival in the name of Jesus our infrastructure is restored in this nation in the name of Jesus I wanted to pray and declare that there is a season of restoration coming and you will be a partaker of it in the name of Jesus there is a season of revival coming in the name of Jesus and you will be a partaker of it in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we are prayed the Bible says in Psalm 78 verse 32 verse 72 it says speaking about David it says so he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands i wanted to pray for our leaders in this nation you see one of the challenges that we have is that of bad governance and leadership and i wanted to pray tonight in the name of jesus that god is giving us leaders in this country people who are skillful people who know what to do people who have solutions in their minds and people who have integrity of heart can you go ahead and pray tonight in the name of jesus i wanted to go ahead and pray tonight in the name of jesus that god is giving us leaders god is sending us people who have an understanding of times and season who know what to do who know how to solve specific problems in the name of jesus i wanted to pray that god is sending us people who can solve economic problems who can solve technological problems in the name of jesus people who can turn nigeria to a manufacturing hub to a place of advancement in technology and innovation i wanted to pray tonight that every election that we hold from now going forward those are the kinds of people that are coming forth in the name of jesus skillful leaders men and women of integrity men and women of understanding in the name of jesus in jesus name we are praying in jesus name we are praying all right finally tonight i want you to join me to prophesy over this nation and we're going to be prophesying from amos chapter 9 from verse 13 in the message translation amos chapter 9 from verse 13 in the message translation just put it on the screen and we're going to be reading it and be declaring over this nation in the name of jesus the bible says yes indeed it won't be long now god's decree things are going to happen so fast your head will swim one thing fast on the heels of the other you won't be able to keep up everything will be happening at once can you go ahead and pray in the name of jesus that, that is the promise of nigeria in the name of jesus that is the experience that we have in the name of jesus things are happening one on the heels of the other in the name of jesus god says i will make everything right again for my people in the name of jesus he says we will rebuild our ruined cities they will plant vineyards and drink good wine 
that will be the portion of this nation it will be your testimony in this nation you will do businesses and they will succeed in the name of jesus you will conceive ideas and you receive the powers to bring them to bear in the name of jesus i want to declare that evil will no longer reign in our land in the name of jesus in jesus name we are prayed in jesus name we are prayed all right so if you truly truly believe tonight that god is bringing to pass the nigeria of your dreams and my dreams can you give him a shout of praise as you take your seat i want us to give the lord a shout of praise tonight as you take your seat father we give you praise lord we thank you hallelujah in jesus name we have prayed hallelujah all right so for those who are joining us online for everybody in the room i want to just write down one sentence right what is the nigeria of your dream what kind of nigeria have you prayed for what kind of nigeria do you want to see if you're joining us online write in the chat room in the comment section of the platform you have if you're in the room again just write it on your social media post it there and say this is the nigeria of my dream because god is going to bring it to pass in the name of jesus amen praise god all right so very quickly this evening um we want to we want to welcome, uh, we want to give our offering, actually. All right, so we're going to give our offerings and then we're going to welcome our guests, okay? All right, so um, I want you to please package whatever it is that you have brought tonight to give to God. I'm sure you have had loads of fest testimonies around people who have given an accelerate seed or we have given something special during this sort of conference. And I want you to just sort of, with that heart, approach God this evening because God the heavens are open over us and it doesn't matter where you are whether you are in the room here tonight or you're joining us from abroad or wherever else whatever part of the world you have I want you to just look on the screen right now you will see the different up platforms through which you can give if you want to give electronically um, you can see um, the account details to, to it which you can either make a transfer um, the short codes that you can use if you're in Nigeria if you're not in Nigeria and you want to give as well just go on our website you'll find a giving link there through which you can use your card um, to give all right and if you're in the room if you want to give um, using a face give, give a fiscal offering either you want to give a check or you want to give cash please use the offering envelopes at the back of the seat that you're sitting on um, and our ushers will come by to collect them but then finally if you want to use your cards to give we have a pure we have pos machines at the back of the return please just walk over there we have officials waiting who will attend to you over there. All right, if you're ready to give tonight, can I ask that you just lift your hands to Jesus? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, tonight we come to you bearing our seeds. Lord, we're grateful because you're the one who has made us seedful. And Lord, tonight as we cast our seeds before you, we ask in the name of Jesus that every single person receives the reward of givers in the name of Jesus. Lord, every single pronouncement and promises that you have made, about people who will give to honor your name. We ask that they are unleashed over the lives of your people tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you've heard us. And Lord, we ask, oh God, for every single person who has a need that money should meet. We ask for a divine release tonight in the name of Jesus. Let their testimonies be multiplied and completed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you've heard us. In Jesus' name we are prayed. In Jesus' name we are prayed. All right, please go ahead and give your offerings. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, while we're giving our offerings, we want to welcome our guest. So if it's your first time at any event of the Elevation Church, you couldn't have chosen a better time to join us um, to fellowship, all right? This is um, Accelerate, Accelerate Conference, um, the night of increase in Accelerate Conference. It's our media conference, and we're so excited that you chose this time to be a part of us, all right? So if it's your first time, can I ask that you just wave your hands at me? I want you to just wave. I want you to wave at me this evening. Just wave, lift up your hands wherever you're seated. Thank you very much. Can I ask that you take one more step? I want you to please stand. I want you to please stand if you're in the auditorium. I want you to please stand. I want you to stand. I want you to stand. Let's put our hands together for these wonderful people. Let's put our hands together for them. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're so, so grateful that you have chosen to fellowship with us during Accelerate Conference. This is the best time that you have chosen. To, you could have chosen to join us. You're welcome to the Elevation Church. We have just an assignment under God, and that is to make greatness come on. So while you registered, um, we expect that you would have told us that you are a guest and so this is what we're going to do we will reach out to you in the course of the coming week all right we have gifts to send on to you and we're going to send you those gifts again because you've indicated they are a guest so we're very very excited that you chose to fellowship with us and on behalf of our lead pastors i'd like to welcome you and say thank you very much for coming please let's put our hands together for our guests once more as they take their seats i want you to please take us thank you very much all right if it's your first time joining us online as well we want to say very big and warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining Accelerate Conference. Now, this is what I want you to please do if you're joining us online for the first time. I want you to look in the comment section of whatever platform you're joining us from. One of our guest welcome team members would have posted a link there right now, all right? 
what I want you to please do is this. Just click on that link, all right? And once you click on the link, leave us your contact details and we will get in touch with you in the course of this week. We'll send you a thank you note and also we'll send you a link through which you can download a gift that we have for you just to appreciate you, all right? And of course, whether you're joining us in person or you're joining online, we'd like to welcome you and to ask you to please come again and again and again and again. And if God lays it upon your heart to become a permanent member, I mean, permanent part of the Elevation Church, we welcome you with open arms. God bless you. Thank you very much for coming. Can you put your hands together one more time for our guest? Hallelujah. Amen. All right, so how many people have had a great time so far at, um, at Night of Increase? How many people have had a great time so far? Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get ready to change gears, all right? I wanted to get ready to go one notch higher. In fact, multiple notches higher because what is going to happen next is it's going to be explosive, all right? The word has been incredibly accurate and powerful since Wednesday when we started. And what just to take us for that, I wanted to please put your hands together tonight as we receive our lead pastor, Pastor Godman Akinlabi, as he brings us the charge this evening. It's going to be an amazing word. Make sure that you take notes. Put your hands together, put your hands together, put your hands together. Thank you very much. God bless you. Praise God. Somebody, if you're clapping, do it very well for Jesus. Come on, somebody, if you're clapping, do it very well for Jesus. He's the one that we've got up to tonight. Come on, somebody, if you're doing it, do it very well for Jesus. Celebrate him, celebrate him, celebrate him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leave those two hands to him all over this place. Everyone joining online. This is a time that God wants your rap attention. So lift your two hands to him right now and just bless him. Bless the God who is our way maker. Bless the God who is beautiful for every situation. Bless the one to whom we have gathered tonight. Bless the God who can do all things. He said, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me to do? Wave your two hands to him. If you can speak in other tongues, speak in other tongues right now. Just worship him and just let him know, Father, I'm here in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Can we sing that song? Where in your presence, let it rain. Oh, your rain. Let it Oh, we're in your presence Let it rain Lord, your rain Lift your two hands to him in expectation Let it fall We're in your presence Oh, your powerful presence Let it
we return all the glory to you for what you've done the last two days of this conference. It's the night of increase. So our hearts are full of expectation. Because the Bible says you grant the desire of the longing soul. So for every desire represented here, online, an in-person gathering right here, we ask tonight, God of all flesh, Father of all spirit, the God with whom all things are possible, as we worship, as we lift our voice to you, we dedicate the remaining part of tonight's experience to divine encounters. And we ask that you show up in every life. Let no one be the same again. Let every testimony that we have shared be multiplied in every life. We thank you for a turnaround in our nation, Nigeria. And we thank you for a turnaround in every life that is represented here, present, and on every platform. Thank you because we are going to do the impossible. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Somebody who is excited that we serve a living God. Somebody who is excited that we serve the God who fights our battles. Somebody who is excited that we serve the one who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Come on, come on, somebody. Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Please, you may have your seat. You may have your seat and if you're joining, whether you're on the road, you're at home, you're just about to leave work, just, just make sure you take distractions away from you and just focus on the God to whom we have gathered tonight. Praise God. I said praise God. Uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful season of, of, you know, all kinds of move of God just happening in the midst of us today. You know, I got so many testimonies from different people. People just sending emails and saying, God did this, God did that. And I know uh, that your testimony is next in the name of Jesus. We have recorded so many healings uh, since Wednesday. So I'm fully persuaded that God is going to heal much more. I said much more. You know, there was a word that came about sinuses, and I've been getting testimonies, more testimonies about it. Somebody came last night, I gave a testimony. Somebody sent me a message today. I said, Pastor, this thing had been with me almost since birth. So I didn't even expect. I didn't even know when it happened. I just knew you mentioned it, and I realized for the first time in a long time, I was able to breathe fully. I got that, that message to this. I was able to breathe fully. He said, and I was wondering, so it's normal to be able to breathe fully. <laughs> that was what the person wrote. He said, so it's normal to be able to breathe. He said, I, it, it didn't occur to me. That is normal to be able to breathe like this. Tonight, I need you to release your faith and trust God because the healing power of God is flowing already through this congregation. And as we worship tonight, you, you may not even need anybody to mention your case or to lay hands on you and you're going to see the end of God in that particular situation in Jesus' name. Tonight, in the brief time that I have to share, I want to speak to the way maker, the God of the angel army. The one who goes out of his own way to fight our battles. You know, there's a way you can see the way maker, uh, you know, uh, like Israel crossed the Red Sea and then they crossed the Jordan. They crossed the Red Sea, they crossed the Jordan. Uh, they saw miracles. But there are points you, you get to in your experience with the way maker that you, you tend to even doubt whether the things he did in the time past were real because what you are facing right now is looking more terrible. That was where Israel got to after they crossed the Jordan and got to Gilgal and they were approaching the promised land. Somebody tonight, wherever you're joining this service from, I know in the second half of 2021, God is bringing you into your full promised land. But I need you to understand something. When you're approaching the promised land in your marital destiny, when you're approaching the promised land 
in career settlement, when you're approaching the promised land, in business sometimes, when a business is just about uh, to, to gain divine establishment, you know, there's a difference between a shrub and an oak tree. The, the, the difference is that one has been established. You know, the oak, the Bible says uh, that we are like the oak of righteousness. I, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but a shrub can be uprooted by a tornado or a wind. That's why, you know, COVID came like a tornado and many enterprises were uprooted. But when you say something has been established, especially when it is divine establishment, uh, that's what the scripture talks about when it says uh, that, the, the, that he said, we shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. Uh, that means you are planted, you are rooted, there's no wind tornado, or whatever you want to call it, that is born where, or that, that, that has the, the, the capacity to uproot. And tonight, I believe that somebody, you are at the last bus stop to divine establishment. And you are here, whether online or in person, at this experience tonight, because God wants to take you to divine establishment. That's why he brought you here. I don't know who you are, but God knows you. You are at the last bus stop, the last bus stop, the last bus stop. So Psalm 125 verse 1, thank you. It said, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. That is what divine establishment looks like. When you enjoy divine establishment, you, 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 you are not afraid of of a wind coming. You are not afraid of a storm because it comes and goes. It becomes normal for a storm to come to pass. So while other people are running elter skelter, you see, for instance, in marriage, you get to a point of divine establishment where you tell the devil, bring it on. Whether it is uh, financial issues, whether anything it is, God has established us here. Nothing moves us. Yeah. We're here. We're here. People have experienced what I'm talking about. Some, some people are here tonight. But some people are here tonight also who are still saying, ah, uh, it depends on what is coming. If this one come, we go. <laughs> God will take you to where here. <laughs> Somebody doesn't understand what I'm talking about. I said God will bring you to the point where you'll be able to say, we're here. Bring it on. But somebody is at that critical juncture where God wants to launch you to divine establishment. Somebody listening from abroad, you have wondered, often wondered, how can a person who is an immigrant be established in a foreign land and you are established like Mount Zion that cannot be moved? Yeah. You know, Joseph was so established. Daniel was so established that kings came and kings died and Daniel was still there. Yeah, because God established him as an administrator in Babylon. Yeah. So kings were passing through him. He was not passing through kings. See, when you have not been established, you'll be afraid of cabinet reshuffle. Yeah, you'll be afraid that they can reshuffle the board. The board of directors are not... See, when you are established, you are the one <laughs> that appoints the board. <laughs> They come and go and they, you are still there. Yeah. Glory be to Jesus. I said glory be to Jesus. Israel was about to get into the promised land. And at this critical juncture, God has showed up many times as the way maker. But at this point, he had to show up in a different way. Joshua chapter 6. I read from the New Living Translation from verse 13 of Joshua chapter 6, from verse 13. The Bible says, when Joshua was near the town of Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing in front of him with sword in hand. Joshua went up to him and demanded, are you friend or foe? Yeah, that's how New Living Translation put it. Are you friend or foe? <laughs> In King James or New King James, he said, are you for us or you are against us? 
Are you friend or foe? I mean, this is loaded. I can stop here for a few minutes. Some people listening to me tonight, you are so used to, in situations of life, is either you are fighting enemy or you are looking for people to help you. You are, you are used to friend or foe. You see, Israel also walked through that, that system where they met many enemies and they came into accord with many kingdoms. But you see, when you face Jericho, when you face Jericho, there's only one focus you should have. Don't focus on enemy. Don't focus on, on friends or network. Focus on the God of angel army, the, 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 the God of hosts. Yeah, because there are certain situations in life like Jericho. God shows up because he knows that you and I need him. There's, there's only one person we need and it's him. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So, right here, <laughs> Joshua asked the question, are you friend or foe? <laughs> and the angel or whoever, God answered, said, no, neither. He said, he replied, the Bible says, neither, he replied, I am commander of the Lord's army. Yeah, I am commander of the Lord's army. At this, Joshua fell with his face to the ground in reverence. And that's what you're going to do tonight. You're not here to be psychedelic. Yeah. This is not a party. Yeah. I'm sorry if, you, if you're too dressed up to worship or to, to praise and all that. Uh, you may just have to change your mind so that you don't go empty-handed. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say maybe you excuse us. No, you won't excuse us. Yeah. You just change your mind that you know, I'm not too dressed up. I know the, people, the other people join online, except you are at work. For people in North America, you are not too dressed up. Yeah. Uh, and if you, if you really want to do this with us tonight, you have to do it like Joshua did it. You have to do it like Joshua did it. Because that's what commands, you know, the capacity of the Lord of hosts to move in your direction. That's what brings you to that point where you hear him and you hear him clearly and you take instruction and your worship and your praise becomes a mountain moving, you know, wall collapsing, gate removing worship. Because that's what we're here tonight to do. Say amen, somebody. The Bible says, Joshua fell down to the ground in reverence. I am at your command. Joshua said, what do you want your servant to do? The commander of the Lord's army replied, take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy. Joshua did as he was told. Tonight, I'm not going to ask you to take off your sandals, but you have to take off your sandals. I, 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 I'm going to explain what I mean. Taking off your sandals as commanded by the angel, the servant of God simply means, Joshua, you have been in the wilderness. You have passed through places. You have had experiences. But this is going to mark a new season, a new experience. You have to pull all that behind you. Your sandal, uh, your shoes, you know, especially if you're like Joshua, you've been wearing only one. You know, God kept their shoes. You understand? You know what I'm talking about. The Bible says their shoes did not chop, like we say here. Yeah. They, they, God just kept their shoes. So it was the same shoe that he had been wearing from Egypt. <laughs> and God said, you have to remove your mind from the past. Both past failures and past victory. Because if you gauge me by what I've done before, this world may not come down. This is a new experience. Yeah, this is a new experience. I have come in full force as the Lord of hosts. And that's what somebody's encountering tonight. As we worship, please focus on the next six months. Don't focus on the past six months. Yeah, that's when you remove your sander. Yeah, that's when you remove your sander. 
as we worship, please focus on the next six months, not last year, not 2020 COVID, no. Because I know some people are yet to recover. Somebody may be listening to me tonight, for the last 18 months, you haven't had a job or a, or a stable source of income. Don't focus on that as we worship. Remove that sander because uh, you that have been called jobless, you are going to start employing people before this year is over. <laughs> I cannot hear your amen to that. I said you will start paying salaries before you come for what night service. Somebody will stand here at what night service to say at July night of increase, a word came that I that have not had a stable income for months now am sustainably, consistently paying salaries. That shall be your testimony. I said that shall be your testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus. Tonight as we worship, I want you to give God your best. You know, I think it was, was night of increase, one of the nights of increase, maybe last year. A lady wrote in a testimony. That testimony was ringing in my spirit as I was preparing uh, for tonight. She said I was at a factory floor somewhere in New York. And I was watching night of increase, you know, on my phone. And she said she got a word. I can't even remember the word perfectly. But that word took her from that place. And the testimony she sent, what God did, how God turned her career path around was, if there's some, something more than remarkable, it was more than awesome. It was incredible. Now you are here physically. Now somebody you may be joining us from your living room or your bedroom, you are not on the floor of a factory. There's no reason for you not to have an encounter tonight. Uh, I cannot hear your amen. I said there's no reason for you not to have an encounter tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Joshua 6. Joshua 6 from verse 1. After the encounter with the angel, and Joshua did as he was told, look at what happened. The Bible says now the gates of Jericho was tightly shut. Because the people were afraid of the Israelites. No one was allowed to go out or in. But the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jericho. It's kings and all its strong warriors. What a word. <laughs> you know, it's one thing for God to say, you are going to enter Jericho. No. He said, I've given you Jericho. I've given you the authority over Jericho because I've given you its kings and its warriors. That shall become somebody's testimony in Jesus' name. And somebody may be wondering, for you, what is Jericho? You know, I said, somebody is at the last bus stop before getting to the promised land. The moment Israel got into Gilgal, in Joshua 4 and 5, you know, in Joshua chapter 5, especially, manna ceased. God stopped, you know, just treating them like children because they were approaching the place where they were going to be established. Someone here tonight, hear me and hear me well. You have circled the mountain long enough. You have to come out of the valley of indecision. Somebody hear me well tonight. Doing one thing, you know, and I'm speaking to somebody tonight who carries a very heavy destiny, like somebody who is supposed to be running with a, a thousand kVA generator like we do in this part of the world to generate electricity, but you are, you are using five, five, five kVA of what you carry. Yeah, that's the person I'm talking about. So you do one small work here, they pay you a small amount of money and you are rejoicing. And then you do another one and then for another three or four months, nothing is coming. And then you don't get something again, you know, like palliative. Yeah. Somebody tonight, your God is not a God of palliative. Yeah. You are leaving this place established. 
I say you are living tonight established. An end has come to, you know, small, small, little opportunities. Yeah, that's why I believe God sent you here tonight. And as many as will release your faith with me tonight, before this year is over, your feet will be firmly planted. God told Joshua, I've given you Jericho, its king and all its strong warriors. You and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. Seven priests will walk ahead of the ark, each carrying a, a ram's on. On the seventh day, you are to march around the town seven times. And the priests blow the horns. When you hear the priests give one loud blast on the ram's on, have all the people shout as loud as they can. Then the wall of the town will collapse and the people can charge straight into town, into the town. Tonight, as we worship, I see God repeating what he did here. Whatever stands between you and the establishment of your destiny, Whatever stands between you and your marital establishment. Whatever stands between you and your career establishment. Whatever stands between someone here, someone listening to me today, and your firm footing, wherever city, whatever nation God has planted you. Tonight, as we worship, as we praise, as we shout, I see walls coming down. I said, I see walls coming down in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, for somebody tonight, before we start to praise, for somebody, what I see in my spirit, just like what happened in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, was like there's been a gang up, a gang up, a gang up. You see, there's nothing worship cannot undo. Mm. Worship can undo Jericho. A shout of victory, a shout to the God of angels army. That shout can undo Jericho. In 2 Chronicles 20, you know the story of Jehoshaphat. Three or four kings and their kingdom and their warriors came against him and his kingdom. But the Bible says the spirit of the Lord came upon a, a, a young man there and he started to prophesy. <laughs> and as he prophesied, he said, uh, may, may, maybe, maybe we should read it. Verse, verse, 14, le, le, verse 14 of 2 Chronicles 20. Can you put it up for me? The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord came upon Jahaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of ben, uh, uh, Benaiah, the son of Jahel, the son of, of Mataniah, the Levite, of, uh, uh, of the son of Esa, in the midst of the assembly. See, uh, this is the guy that God was speaking through. It was like God was speaking through worship. Because uh, they, they, look at all the names there, you know, Esav, uh, Levi. These are, this, this is worship. Uh, this guy in the midst, you know, of everything that was going on, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. And the Bible said, it said in verse 15 of Second Chronicles 20, Listen, all you Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem and you King Jehoshaphat, Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid nor dismay because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours but God's. This same spirit of prophecy is in manifestation here tonight. Can I say this to somebody here? I don't care what kind of gang up is around you. I don't care how many nations, how many people, how many contraptions you are standing against. But as we worship tonight, you know, somebody will say, oh, there's an issue at home uh, in, within the family lineage. See, when I come back, we're going to speak to some of those things. But I need you to understand, tonight is about age-long issues. Yeah. 
Israel has been in captivity for 40 years. But when they came to Gilgal, at the border of the promised land, there stood Jericho, walled up. This has been 40 years long, sir. If Jericho will not give way, the journey of 40 years will be, you know, a wasted effort. For somebody here tonight, whatever is within the family lineage that has been there for long, that's why you are here tonight. Whatever God has not planted that has threatened the entire family, now it's on you. They say in this family, people don't get married. In this family, uh, you know, uh, people don't give birth on time. You are going to break whatever has held your family down. God will make you a spectacle. A new reference point. Through you, the story of the family will be rewritten. In the name of the Lord Jesus, they will say, Though it has been happening in this family, but it was different for Lola. It was different for Emeka. Yeah, they will say it was different for Josephine. They will, you will be the first reference point that this thing is different. Or can you say it better amen somebody? As we worship tonight, if there's anyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb, and I'm not talking about one or two years delay. If there's one or two years delay, God will resolve it tonight. But I'm talking about delays that have been long. Yeah. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. When the Lord of hosts himself shows up, it's not for small, small things. It's for Jericho-sized issues. And anyone with Jericho-sized issues... Anyone with something that looks like a gang up. You know, the Jehovah's, Jehoshaphat story there was not about one country coming against him. It was a gang up. It was a multitude that came against him. Those kind of multitude kind of situation will bow tonight. <laughs> Lift your two hands where you are. 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 I want you to picture at the back of your mind. Picture Acts 16 and verse 25. In the midnight, Paul and Silas, they praised, they sang, they ministered to the Lord. The Bible says the one, the Lord of hosts that I'm talking about tonight, showed up. And when he did, there was an earthquake. Somebody in the camp, wherever things have been held down, Tonight there shall be an earthquake. Yeah. Chains shall be broken. Yeah. Doors shall fling open. Yeah. Gates shall be removed. Yeah. After the order of Paul and Silas. In the name of the Lord Jesus. My God will send ambushment. For every contraption against you. In the name of Jesus. After the order of Jericho, walls are coming down. Somebody, if you believe I'm talking about it, jump on your feet, jump on your feet, jump on your feet. Glory be to Jesus. Wherever you are, hear the sound of my voice. This is a time to concentrate. This is a time to give an incredible God an incredible worship. An incredible praise. Because he deserves it. And tonight is going to show up in his full stature. Wave those hands to him. 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 Father, we bless you. Jehovah is. Leave that song to him, somebody. Jehovah is. Mighty warrior. Mighty warrior. The God that handles Jericho. One more time, Jehovah is your name. Yeah.
Before I bring up our music minister a second uh, for tonight and then we're going to have uh, Minister Alumide back but before then I just want to say this someone just got healed of asthma right now the healing power of God is flowing through your track right now as I speak I curse that asthma to its root right now. And I command you, go in the name of Jesus. As we worship, there's somebody with a problem with a spinal cord. It's like, maybe like a shift or something. I've forgotten, like a disc problem or something like that. As we worship, as we worship, what I hear in my spirit is a reset. God is resetting that disc. Whatever it is that has shifted, it's going to come back into place. So as we worship, I wanted to expect the unusual. Somebody right where you are in your home, you're going to feel the presence of God. Yeah, the hand of God upon you. For someone, it just feels like, maybe you are alone, but it feels like there's somebody in the room with you that's that's the lord of us himself visiting you yeah and it's going to wipe away your shame and your tears tonight lift your two hands with me worship the lord as we receive minister if nathan as she leads us in worship come on come on lift those hands to jesus celebrate jesus the one who does miracles celebrate jesus and might Lift your voice and bless his hole in it. Are there worshippers in the house tonight? Come on! Come on! Shatoriana for he is worthy mighty is our God mighty is our God the one who does miracles a crown no shed our house motorian no shed in us metarian no shed in oh come on open your voice tonight open your voice tonight forget about the person standing beside you standing in front of you tonight you're going to worship him like never before a crown no shed out of the walls eternal in the walls eternal in the walls Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship. Jesus, we worship. Yes, God, we give you glory, God. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hey, Lord, we bless your name tonight. For you are good and your mercy endures forever. Glory to your name, Jesus. Church, please help me celebrate the angel of this house and his beautiful, beautiful wife, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, come on. Raise those hands towards heaven. Say, I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice, my voice woo, to work. Come on tonight, you, oh my soul, oh my soul, my soul rejoice, rejoice, take joy, my king, take joy, my king, Woo. in what you hear, 
in words from our lips to your ears God let it be your sweet sounds let it be a sweet a sweet, a sweet sound in your So we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Hey! We give you glory, 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 as we honor you. So you are Multiplies you, that's one thing you need to know tonight. Melanie Moreau, 
Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. The angels are singing gifts. Hosanna in the highest. He would took one year. He Jesus, you are so good. Yes, God. Jesus, you are so good. What no man can do, you are done for. What no man, what no man can do, you are done for. Say what no man, what no man.
just keep it so what no man can do Jesus is here to give you what no man can do he's here to do it for you yes. what no man can do hey Jesus did it for you are your way that's who you are Somebody need to release your worship tonight.
you say now he must shout 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 somebody your victory is showing the way it's righteous shout it out your breath I will shout I will shout 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 clap 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 your hands come on come on You are the great and mighty God. Greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all situation. You are the tall. Raise it up. You are the great and mighty God. Greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all situation. You are the tall. You are the joy of the whole world. Joy of the whole world. Peace of the whole world. You're the joy of the whole world. How many need them to move mountains for them tonight? Yes, How many need God to move mountains for them? So, so you move mountains. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Come on, come on. You ready? Huh? That's it. With your come on, you perform. There is nothing no. Hey, that's impossible. Come on, tell him, tell him, sir. And we're standing only because come on we said you move mountains yes sir. you call to us with your power perform miracles there is nothing more that's impossible raise it we're standing here We're still again. Only because Hey, you ready? Hey, Mr. George Everybody say true Yes, you did you You made a way When it seems to be no way Yes, you did you Yes, you did you You made a way When it seems to be no way You did You provided You made a way When it seems to be no way You did You provided Don't know how sick Don't know Was it by your power? And we're standing here in the first yes. middle of the year <laughs> only because Lord you made second half of the year. Yes, we're standing here only because Jesus made. Come on, tell him. And we're standing only because only because you made a way. Somebody shout and give him glory. You're ready. If you're ready to accelerate, shout. 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 Hey. Listen, hold, 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 hold. Hold it, hold it. I heard it. I heard it clearly right now. That we should do something prophetic. You're going to take three steps forward as you accelerate into the things that God has for you in the second half of the year. I'm moving. One. Let's go. Two. Let's go. Three. Shout on to God. Yeah. Hey, yes, go. 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 Yes,
living in your body tonight in the name of Jesus. Let all shut on. Yes, God. Yes, God. So what the Lord has done for me. So I'm prophesying ahead. I, come on. That's it. What the Lord has done for me. Come on. I cannot. What the Lord has done. What the Lord. I cannot tell. What did he do? Come on. He saved me. And he watched me. Come on. Say what the Lord has done. What the Lord I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done. I cannot tell. He said. He watched me. Are you ready? Say so. Everybody said He ran I said the Lord ran and let the a tremble Everybody said hey. He ran and said Everybody said He ran and he ran and he ran and hey. Everybody said Lift your voice up. Hey! Yes, you, yes, you hear it. Hear it, I said. Hey! Come on. Lift your hands, everybody. Come on. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man, what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do, Jehovah. You said no no
what no man can do. That's why we give you glory. That's why we bless your name. That's why we love you, Jesus. What you do, no man can do, God. I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. See any God like you? Look. I never see any God like you. The way you make the water work, the one who heals, yes, the one who saves, yes. I never see, I never see, I never see any God like you, Lord. I never see any God like you. I never see any God like you. I never see. I never see any of those. I never see any God like you. So He touched me. How many need to touch tonight? Every day I'm across the Oh, He touched me. How many need to touch tonight? Every day I'm across the Oh, He Say something, something happened. It will happen tonight. And now, yes, I know. He'll touch, he'll make you whole. Oh, Lord, I call it that When he says something, he does it. Supernatural God, miracle working God. A lot of tea, I call it Galajo. Mom, we are go. A lot of tea, I call it Adro. Here on a Satan. Oh, we are go. Give me test, give me test. Hello, Mamma, pay, Molete. Yes, God. Nobody, nobody like, like nobody like you. Nobody like oh, oh me. Yes, nobody like nobody like. Raise your hands, everybody. Jehovah, yeah. Jehovah, so no 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 You don't know, son. Restore I am. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, it knows. Restore I am. It knows. It comes on, it knows. Restore I am. Cut it in the box. It knows. Yes, God. Restore I am. That's who you are. It knows. The glory of your presence, yes, God, with your temple, yes, God, give you reverence, yes, God, who come and rise. From your rest, and be blessed by our praise. the ask glory, embrace, yes, Lord, as your friend. Your presence, God, and I know God now feels this place, this place come and rise from your rest. 
and be blessed by our praise as we glory oh, in your in your embrace oh, in your embrace the whole shed of our old I don't as your presence God now feels Hallelujah. Just play that song softly. Just continue to play that song softly for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice. Can you, if you can, I want you to just go on your knees. If you can. If you can kneel. I want you to just bow down. Just bow. Just bow. If for any reason you cannot kneel, just bow. Just bow. If you are in the car, just bow. If you are in the bus, just bow. Just bow yourself to the King of Kings. The God who makes all things possible. And as you worship him, bowing down, kneeling before him, can I ask you to present three things that you want to see before this year is over. I just know that the God that we serve is granting petitions right now. Right now. So as you kneel, as you bow in worship, can you present a petition? Can you present a petition? Somebody present that petition about that overturning because God is about to overturn. A verdict is about to overturn. A report. Just lay it before him tonight. Just lay it before him. Lay it before him. Our God is not dead. He's alive. Ever strong. Ever faithful. The one who is beautiful for every situation. Healer. Redeemer. Restorer. Give out of all good things. Accept our worship. Accept our petition. Glorious King, we worship you. Glorious King, we worship you. Glorious King, we worship you. The orchestrator of our destinies, we worship you. The one who knows the way through the wilderness of life, we worship you. The one who makes a way, we worship you. The one who parts Jordans and Red Sea, we worship you. The one who collapses the walls of Jericho of human life, we worship you. The one who turns bitter water to sweet water. The one who can turn any marriage around. Who can turn any relationship around. You are the one that we worship tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone online, everyone in the overflows, all the three overflows within the complex, 
Lay your petition before the Lord tonight. Lay your petition before the Lord tonight. Let it come from your heart to Him right now. Whatever you have written down, your accelerate expectation card, this is the time to lay it before Him. Let it come from your heart to Him. Whether you have written anything down or not, just, just lay it before Him tonight. Let Him know about it. Let it come from your heart. The one who rewrites destinies is here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mambre lekebo shati karanda lagaba ya baba. E karodo gobo se se teke rede gebo lobo bo sheta ya. Me rado kolobro do go sheta ya ke rede gebo ko sheta ya. Mambre ne legebo sheta kaba. E korono go lukro do ko bo shati ya karanda lagabo sha. Me rende gele gebo sa sata kaya gaba. Rakototo korodo gabolo mo shata ha ha ye kerende lege mo sha manta karada gabolo mo shata yaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. We present our petitions before you tonight. Breathe upon every desire. Breathe upon every petition. Let your hands be stretched forth right now over every request. Let mountains move. Let walls collapse. Walls of industry. Wars of nations, wars within families, let wars collapse, let financial wars collapse, let emotional wars collapse, let the spirit of heaviness go in the name of Jesus, let depression go in the name of Jesus. Let your fire burn out anything that you have not planted in anyone's body. So right now, right now, right now, we command whatever is blocking tubes, tubes that will lead to fertility. We command every blockage. Be removed in the name of Jesus. We stand against barrenness of the body. We decree right now. Right now. Let walls of barrenness crash. Let there be divine conceptions. But someone who has been told conception will never be possible. Something has been removed. If, uh, tonight I decree and declare whatever is blocking conception is removed. For somebody here tonight, even if your, 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 your fallopian tube has been removed or your womb has been removed, I, I prophesy according to the time of life this time next year you will carry your baby the one who has done it severally will do it for you again in the name of the Lord Jesus
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Because the Lord has done great things for us, wherein we are glad. Turn again the captivity, O God, like the streams in the south. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let every desire brought before you tonight be turned to testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we speak to hereditary diseases. Some things that have remained in the family line for too long. Lord, we worship you tonight because there's nothing that is too difficult for you to do. So that thing that has been synonymous to the family line tonight by the power in the blood we command it washed away in the name of Jesus let cancer be washed away let arthritis be washed away let seizures be washed away let asthma be washed away Thank you, Jesus. That bedwetting in adulthood, we speak against that spirit of infirmity. We cut you off in the name of Jesus. Everything that brings shame, uncontrollable bladder, uncontrollable flow, uncontrollable flow of blood, we stand against you tonight. The God who terminated it from the woman with the issue of blood. Tonight, everyone with uncontrollable flow of anything, we command the flow to cease now in the name of Jesus. And wherever there should be a flow and there has been a blockage, someone who has not menstruated before in adulthood, Someone who has not menstruated in five years tonight in the authority that is in the name of Jesus Christ we command that your flow is restored perfectly in the name of Jesus. Lebra no kolobo shatayamba e kaloto pre engele ketu shatoyabaha Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. I see it clearly. There's a child. There's a child. There are two things that I can see in my spirit. There's a child that is preterm and is still in the hospital as we speak. And the doctors are saying, maybe the child will make it or not. In agreement of faith, under this prophetic unction, we we'll speak to every such children connected to anyone under the influence of this service anyone under the influence of my voice right now with a child in the hospital as you speak any child connected to anyone here that is in the hospital we speak life to you in the name of jesus you shall not die but live in the name of jesus christ i see another child it's like a coma situation. We decree tonight that life is restored back to you. We decree tonight that life is restored back to you. Before midnight West African time, jack back to life fully. Before midnight West African time, jack back to life in the name of Jesus. Life is fully restored to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost with me. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Prahankre ne kolobosha. Ye kanda lekre engre no kolobosh. Ye mbro no kolobrondo kalege bosha. Akara de le kobo rudo koso sute ke yende. Mambro no lobosha. E ke te kere de gebo. Mambra neke likro duko shute yende. E karondo logo bosha taya. 
Mambro no coloco rodo gabos. E kente te kere de gabosha. Mere de gabosha. Ma karanda leke suso tukri angre na kalaya. Roko robo shete yende. Ma karando lo gabosha. E korondo lo bosha tayaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rise on your feet, everyone. Rise on your feet, everyone. Rise on your feet, everyone. Lift those two hands to Jesus. Lift those two hands to Jesus. Brother Lumiri, can you come? Come, come with your team. The next few minutes, the next few minutes, wherever you are, hearing the sound of my voice, the next few minutes, there's going to be a release of the power of restoration. Yeah, restoration. I know it means something to anyone who has lost anything that should be in your possession. I know it means something to somebody who has lost a job. It means something to somebody who has lost a relationship. It means something to somebody who has lost a child. It means something to somebody who has lost an opportunity. In the next three minutes, there's going to be an unusual release of grace for restoration and i want you to appropriate it for yourself and your family right now lift your two hands to heaven just sing any song that the holy spirit brings to your mind restoration yes 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 people here tonight online in person in any of the overflow you have experienced multiple miscarriages this restoration that was speaking to him and worshiping him about is for you is for you multiple miscarriages yeah multiple miscarriages for somebody your miscarriage is not that of the fruit of the womb. It's business failures, multiple business failures. Lift your hands as we worship. There's restoration now in the name of Jesus.
part of this restoration is restoration of any organ in the body that is failing. So we're going to sing just for one minute more. And you're going to put your hand on anything that needs restoration that has to do with your body. There may be somebody at home that is not even here that is connected to you. That is not with you where you're watching from that is connected to you. You can stand in the gap and put your hand on your own body for them. And as we sing, there shall be restoration of full functionality of that body part right now, right now. Let's sing that song one more time. Thank you, Father. That curse of marital failure is broken right now. I said that curse of marital failure, marital delay is broken right now. So in the next six months, there will be a wave of supernatural divine connections. Somebody, a scale will fall from your house. That marital confusion will come to an end. My God will guide you in an unmistakable manner. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, this last prayer, 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 18. He said, we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of God. He said, we're changed, we're transformed. Tonight, it's going to be a prayer, and at the same time, it's going to be a worship. Just, just, we're closing in, in about five minutes. So just, just, just in about two minutes, I just wanted to uh, uh, just appropriate the grace in this atmosphere wherever at all you are confused about anything i want you to release your faith right now for clean clear cut direction yeah, that's what i wanted to release your faith for right now yeah uh, for clean clear cut direction yeah i want you to lift your two hands to jesus right now that's where we're going to continue from sunday uh, because on Sunday as we worship <laughs> it's about destiny signals what I feel in my spirit is starting now Sunday is about destiny signals God said he's going to give destiny signals but it's starting now 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 someone like Saul that became the king of Israel the first king of Israel he was looking for lost donkeys and they were confused until he had an encounter with Samuel. The first thing Samuel told him is that the donkeys you are looking for have been found. Somebody tonight, an end has come to that confusion. Should I go right? Should I go left? I'm looking for this. I found this. No, 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 no. You are walking into the fullness of divine destiny. You will receive destiny signals. In this second half of 2021, 
that will redefine the rest of your life. Somebody under the influence of my voice today, God, right where you are right now, is orchestrating an Exodus 4 experience, a burning bush experience, something, a landmark encounter that will redefine the rest of your life the way it happened to Moses. Will you lift your two hands to him right now? Say, Father, give me destiny signals. My eyes are open. Let veils drop up over my eyes, over my heart, over my hearing. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost, somebody. Pray in the Holy Ghost, somebody. Lift your two hands and worship. Lift your two hands and worship. Lift your two hands and worship. Glory, glory, glory. Lift your two hands and worship. Your two hands and worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we sing, Hallelujah. Scales are falling off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The way they can show you direction. Is restoring peace into your heart, Hallelujah. and by His peace you shall be directed. Hallelujah. By His peace you shall be guided. Hallelujah.
we close finally tonight. There's a picture that I have at the back of my mind, and I think I should share it with somebody here because it's definitely going to help you. There's an aura around you right now, and that aura, the way it works, is that except you are conscious of it, you may not maximize it. The picture I see at the back of my mind is when you walk towards an automatic door that recognizes yeah you know it just opens yeah you know it just opens except it's 40 then you have to do like this if not it just opens of its own accord that shall be your experience going forward Amen. Woo. your experience going forward mark today down is that you just need to show up you just need to show up. Somebody say after me, say, I just need to show up. Say, when I show up, doors open. Say, when I show up, doors open. Because I've been marked for favor. I've been marked for open doors. And I've been marked for mercy. Somebody who is blessed and I put your hands together. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Yeah. Somebody, somebody, show the Lord that you are grateful. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Glory be to Jesus. You know we have to stop because of uh, movement and all that but I'm looking forward to perhaps a night of increase in October one thing I'm looking forward to is perhaps maybe that time we'll be freer to lay hands and to do all those kind of things and maybe we'll be able to push because maybe there'll be no coffee again that we can push to 11 o'clock Nigerian time you know and all that but for everyone watching online thank you for staying for everyone right here we're going to try as much as possible to make everything orderly so you don't have to be in a hurry or try to in in 20 minutes or so our car park will probably be empty uh, uh pastor Debo will come uh, to give us some instruction to make that easier for all of our leaders and workers please note that tomorrow morning at 10 a.m i need you to be with me here and if by any chance you can't be here please let us know and you have to join online for everyone who has been a, a part of this event online today, I wanted to uh, send us your testimonies as they start to come. Some people already have a testimony right now. Send it to us right now. How many people received something tonight? Can I see a show of hands? Glory be to Jesus. Everything that God has done in your life tonight is perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your testimony shall be full. Nothing shall be taken away from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. I want to appreciate our guest ministers tonight. If you're Nathan, God bless you. Let me in you. God bless you. Just, just, just still stay. And I want to recognize uh, Pastor Tosin Martins. Thank you for coming to worship with us tonight. Pastor David, all the way from Podacot. God bless you. And a lot of our friends in the, in the congregation. Uh, uh, thank you for coming to worship with us. I think I can see Chude there. Thank you for coming to worship with us and many other people. We, we bless God for your life. Your testimonies are made perfect in the name of Jesus. For everyone online, uh, I want to sign you off. I need you to know that as we keep on worshiping, as we keep on praising, the way maker will continue to open the doors automatically in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's receive Pastor Debo for final announcement. Just in one minute, you will be dismissed. Hallelujah. You want to put your hands together and celebrate God one more time? Glory to God. You know, I just want you to, that, that expectation card that you filled before this conference, uh, whether it's with you now, when you get home, just put it out and right underneath it, it is done. And that's the word of God concerning you. Everything on that list is done in the name of Jesus. All right, I want you to listen to this very important announcement. Of course, uh, the conference continues tomorrow, the grand finale across all of our expressions. We're going to be having 
a celebration service. And um, that will happen across all expressions, including um, our online church. So you want to go to your various expressions, uh, whether you're from Greater Lekki, uh, from PCC here, from LifePoint, from Maryland Expression, from Ikorudu Expression, uh, whether you are in the North American church, the, the Mississippi church in um, Ontario, Canada, or uh, London Expression. Uh, we trust God for an amazing time in his presence. Hallelujah. All right. And so because it is also the first uh, Sunday in the month of July, it's going to be our Thanksgiving service as well. So if you are uh, a July baby, you are born in the month of July, um, we're going to be praying for July babies. We're going to be praying uh, also for people who are celebrating their wedding anniversary, career anniversaries uh, this Sunday. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, the final service in all of our Alpha Expressions will be a baby dedication service. So if you have uh, babies that you want to dedicate in the month of July, uh, please uh, prepare for the dedication. You can register at your various expressions, and we trust God that it will be indeed an awesome experience. Praise the Lord. Now, this Sunday also, uh, we will be receiving the Accelerate Seed. Uh, we've spoken about that quite a bit, and so... Uh, whatever it is that the Spirit of God has ministered in your heart, uh, you want to put that together over the weekend and come to church uh, and lay that at, at Jesus' feet. We, it's an expression of our gratitude, our appreciation. Hallelujah. Anybody ready to accelerate? Yeah. Come on. I'm conquering ground, time to hesitate. My eyes are on you, to accelerate.
everybody, come on. Where's your dancing shoes? Yeah. Jehovah, and all creation will proclaim your majesty. The nation bowed on that your throne, proclaiming you reign. 